Hello everybody and welcome on my journey to watch 500 films in one year. The 59th film I watched was House, a Japanese horror movie from 1977, about a schoolgirl and her six classmates who travel to her aunt's country home only to find out that the house is not all it seems. I found it really funny that the schoolgirl's nicknames, Angel, otherwise known as Gorgeous, Fantasy, Sweetie and Melody, all sounded like stripper names, and was surprised by the amount of nudity in the film. I've seen quite a few Far Eastern horror movies, and those seem to avoid nudity altogether, but to be honest, there were only a couple of scenes where the girls appear without clothes in-house. The girls were actually mostly amateur actors, and the film was made after the director, Nobuhiko Obayashi, was asked to make something like the American movie Jaws, hilariously enough. The tone of the movie, from the very beginning, is playful and frenetic, and, as the story moves along, the action becomes more and more crazy. This is definitely one of the most outlandish horror movies I've ever seen, but I felt it was very innovative in terms of the effects that were used for the decade it was made in. Apparently, the basis of the storyline came from the director's then 11-year-old daughter, and that explains a lot. This was actually Obayashi's debut film, and prior to that, he had been directing TV adverts. I loved the fake-looking backdrops behind and the beautiful skies above the house, and I enjoyed seeing use of the colour red in a black and white shot. Perhaps that provided inspiration for Spielberg for that famous scene in Schindler's List. It's a little controversial to say, but I'd quite like a decent horror director, perhaps Rob Zombie, to have a crack at remaking or rebooting this movie, just to see where he could take it creatively. House is a surreal, zany horror movie unlike anything you'll ever see, and I give it a big thumbs up. Please join me for my next review where I'll be talking about Videodrome, directed by David Cronenberg. Thanks for taking the time to listen and I hope to hear from you soon.